I remember being challenged by a girl called Fatima from Saudi Arabia. She was in her mid-twenties and living in one of the most hostile places on earth to be a Christian. She'd not always been a Christian. In fact, she started life as a Muslim. It wasn't long after this that Fatima began blogging, began getting online and writing blogs for, for her friends to read. She wanted to share her newfound excitement for God. She would do it under an alias called Rania, which translated means contented. To protect her from the multitude of insults and responses that she would get, I remember on one occasion she received the following reply, and it says, You worship a foolish, crucified, cursed Lord. If I had you in my hands, I would slaughter you twice. Fatima responded with this, To those who become Christians, how you are so cruel. And the Messiah says, Blessed are the persecuted. And by God, I am unto death a Christian. It wasn't long after this series of blogs that Fatima decided to tell her family that she'd become Christian. When she told them about her decision to follow Jesus, an argument broke out. And the next day, Fatima returned from a family function to find that her brother had broken into her room and was actually sitting on her laptop. This troubled her greatly because she knew that the desktop picture was a picture of the cross. Many of her writings and blogs were sitting open on her desktop. She said when she walked into her room, her brother was very angry. Fatima decided to lock herself in the room as a measure of safety. And she jumped online and she wrote a blog to her followers and it, it was simply entitled, I'm in big trouble. Over the next four hours, she asked all her followers to pray for her. Shortly after this, Fatima's brother returned to her room. He burned her face. He burned her back. He cut out her tongue. And he killed her. You know, as I think so much about her story, I, I think to myself, what's my response? I think to myself things like risk taking Christianity. Is there such a thing? Because the Bible that I read, the, the Bible that I see, and the stories like Fatima, they tell me that Christianity in and of itself is defined by risk. It's easy to be a Christian in your head and not sort of honour God with your words. But being a Christian in your heart and with your actions, that's the real deal. A Christian in the deepest fibre of your being. It's where faith, it comes alive and it materialises from faith into action. And your natural response to a relationship with Jesus is to express it any way possible.